What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the news. Let's get into it. Won't you follow me into the no All right. Our first bit of news today is from Furrow, and it's a armor set with a bunch of helmets, an insane amount of helmets, and they look really nice along with the armor, of course, all looking very good. Uh, Elena retweeted this, so take of that what you will. If I really hope we see this. It'd be really cool for Black Friday or something like that. So I really hope we see this in the game. And I definitely want some new hair helmets. And these hats look really cool. The male hair looks really cool. Everything about this looks really cool. Hopefully we'll see that in the game. Kurlong with a brand new set. Uh, someone said it looked a lot like Lakin's art style. Or at least like the, uh, the armor itself looked inspired by Lakin or something like that. Yeah. Lakin's Seraph armors. So... It does, yeah, a little bit. You can see it, but it looks really good. Hunter, Phantom, and Rogue. So three different names for these sets. And uh, these are probably for the Evil Corp update. Uh, we're getting later this month. More on that later on in this video. All right, Z has been working on some gear for like a Citadel update or something. I'm not sure exactly what it's for, but this is an NPC. Uh, Z says right here, that's an NPC. And so it's not player items looks really cool i i don't know are they gonna redo the citadel map in aq i'm not sure what this is for but i guess we'll see in the future all right this friday we are getting an expansion on the celestial arena uh the golden gauntlet so that's some gear you can actually get in game i have more i can show you right now here's another set of armor i grabbed off someone's character page so you see the wings the helmet the armor there very cool i'm sure someone will like wearing that Battle the golden bosses to get merge shop resources. You'll use these to collect the pieces of each boss's armor set. And then here's the list of bosses, of course. And I guess we're getting gold versions of bosses that were already in Celestial Arena. It's pretty cool. So that's the update for tomorrow, for Friday. Along with that, of course, we're getting the achievement tracker update with the 8-year membership, 500k AC, and the nine years played houses now since the last news video they added something to these houses the NPC to greet you and give you access to rep shops so that's kind of interesting I I'm I think that's kind of cool actually like rep shops is that every rep shop in the game I wonder what rep shops because there's a lot of rep shops in AQW so I wonder which specific rep shops uh, are going to be included in that uh, it's kind of interesting uh, also, they are adding a bunch of dual wield items. So you can see right there, it's a bunch of one. Uh, Legion Flesh Ripper is probably one of the better ones there. You know, some Oblivion Blade, Null Gap, it's some duels. Uh, and if you have a nine year old account, or is this for the eight year plus accounts? It's either for eight year plus or nine. I think it's for eight year. Last year's eight year played achievement, the entire zone called Nostalgia Quest, a place where long time heroes could relive some of the foundest memories and get new versions of their favorite gear see everything the town holds in this post both the team and the players uh, from around the internet send in ideas for the update here's what made the final cut so i think if this is for eight years plus so uh maybe if you just got an eight year account this year you would have access to this uh you get the Masumi npc armor and the original Adventure Quest, Mage, Hood, Cape, and Staff based on the very first Mage art artics made back in 2002. God, that's a long time ago. So, uh, the original Mage art just looks like MS Paint version of Warlock, or Warlock, or whatever his name is, uh, the guy in Battleon in the Wizard Magic Shop. So, yeah, it's just like an MS Paint version of that. So, you guys can check that out if you want. Uh, I could not find an image of it. Uh, I'm sure that one exists, but uh, you'll see it. Uh, when it comes out tomorrow i'm sure some people have it equipped people with eight year plus accounts so moving on all right now i'm actually pretty excited for this this is the upgrade package uh one of the better maybe the best upgrade package we've got ever uh it's really badass uh it's also animated uh if you're curious i don't know if that's the animation speed it will be in game because it's just a twitter gif but it'd probably be a little slower than that you can see the weapon has two animations on it the helmet has an animation on it I don't know if the well it looks like the on the gold one right there that you have on the eyes it looks like that's animated sword also looks like it's animated so it looks like both tiers are animated uh and the lower tier one is the one on the left of 
course, and then you got the Hydra one. It comes with a Claymore floating sword pet and a member only battle pet too, which is pretty cool. Four capes, five weapons, two swords. You also get a dual version of those swords. So it's it's a really, really good upgrade package, at least in my opinion. Mirror Realm and uh, yeah, it's, yeah I, the mirror version of it. So yeah, it's really cool. And uh, that is the upgrade package that will be out tomorrow. Okay, we have a list of events for November. And on November 3rd, we're getting the Golden Gauntlet, the Celestial Arena, November Upgrade Package, and Achievement, Tracking Rewards, plus the Soldier Quest Update. So a bunch of stuff added for tomorrow. So that's interesting. Uh, that bunch of content. Uh, now, as you can see that this one is a lot, there's a lot more text in this one, the November 3rd one, than the November, the ones past that. That's because we don't know everything that will be in all these updates. So what it says here is just a general idea of what's going to be in the update. They'll add more detail, of course, in the future, and I'll be covering a lot in the videos that I do every Thursday on the channel. So again, Thanksgiving HUD, Hub and Wretched Rider bonus boss. I don't know what that is. It sounds kind of cool. It's like a Wretched uh, I, I don't even know what, what that would be, but that sounds cool. Mehmet's birthday on the 17th. Nightmare Realm birthday rares. So we're getting some rares for Mehmet's birthday this year. Evil Corp takes over Thanksgiving plus Black Friday War. I mean, the last war was pretty good, uh, but war, hopefully it's actually a war where we have two sides and we can actually go against each other. Don't want to hit my coffee there. Uh, so hopefully it's a war like that. I like that war, like the last one we got with Sephiria and the werewolves. That was actually pretty cool for the Lycan. Uh, but uh, yeah, war, eh, we'll see if that's good. And then, so one day after, one day after the Black Friday war update, we're getting more Black Friday gear, rares added to the shop, and then... Uh, uh, a few days later, we're getting Cyber Monday Rare Shop. So, the end of this month is very action-packed. A lot of items added. So, cannot wait till the end of November. Moving on. So, this will be part of uh, the Evil Corp War. Uh, or the Evil Corp Takeover Thanksgiving War. Uh, we got some little Twilly. I've, I've showed these before, but I thought they were relevant. And speaking of Twilly, uh, I made this post a while ago. It actually got a lot of likes and retweets so i think a lot of people share my opinion i don't know why this isn't already in the game uh so i just dropped that in the photoshop it's a pet that already exists in the game and i just took the helmet off of it so i just photoshopped the helmet off of the twilly pet and then put it onto my character's head in photoshop that's literally how much work that took uh so it's really easy and i'm they already have the art made for it. They could put it into the game so easily, and I really hope they do. Uh, Elena replied to it, said these are pretty adorable. We'll show it to uh, the Hero Mart. These are both people that work with Hero Mart, so uh, maybe they'll add it into the game. I hope they do, but you know, I'm just being optimistic. They probably won't. And last but not least, uh, today Elena posted this on Twitter. It's a big ass long post on. Uh, I guess they're getting a lot of criticism. They, you know, as you do when you make video games, people play them. And when they play a video game for nine years, uh, they're going to see the flaws in the game. And of course, that's going to happen. But I don't know. They say a lot in here. Like, they like the stuff you think they would say. You can I predicted what it was going to say before I read it. And my predictions were true. And, and you're probably thinking what this says without reading it, too, if you haven't read it yet. And yeah, right. It just says like we, we we work on a bunch of different games. We love our games. We try our best. It, it just says all that. So, and yeah, uh, it doesn't really say anything. If I'm being honest, it just says what you think it would say. So, that's about that. Hopefully, their actions speak louder than their words, and uh, maybe we'll see a little bit of change in the future. I don't know. This post seems kind of pointless to me, but that is all. I thought I'd talk about that because I'm sure people want my opinion on that. Uh, that is all for this video. Really hope this Twilly hat is in the game. I'm still waiting for the calendar. I wonder when they're going to release the 2018 calendar class. Or not class, but the, the calendar itself for pre-order. I wonder when that's going to go up. Because uh, it came out last year in late November, the calendar. So maybe we'll get it in late November around here, around this time. Maybe around the time the war comes out. Maybe that's when... We'll be able to purchase the calendar for 2018 off Hero Mart. And uh, yeah, that's all the news we have for this week. Enjoy this video. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow on the Friday stream. We'll be farming for those new boss items that are coming out. 
I'll see you guys then. And we'll check out the new package and all that stuff tomorrow. Peace.